All right, so this is definitely something that a lot of us have been expecting since the eighth anniversary began, and now it's almost here. It's almost here. So in this video, we are gonna be breaking down the full Extreme Z Awakening details for the transforming uh, SDR LR Gogeta, as well as the Tech LR Vegito. And uh, of course, these guys are from the 5th anniversary. It was the 5th anniversary Dual Dokkan Fest. And I gotta be honest, man, uh, this is as hype or possibly even more hype than any of the 8th anniversary LRs that have come out so far. I mean, for me personally, like this was probably the most exciting release in the history of Dokkan. It was like maybe the most fun I've ever had playing Dokkan. So... Uh, yeah, these two definitely have a special place in my heart, and uh, I'm just super, super excited for this. So, yeah, with that said, we are going to get into the details, but before that, we have to watch this uh, quick video that they posted with, I believe, brand new OSTs. If they're not brand new, I've never heard them before, so uh, just watch, just watch. Okay, so let me just pop in some earbuds here and I'm gonna pause my music as well okay so music pause okay and enjoy guys Dude, I just can't help but smile, you know, like I <laughs> It's been it's been three years, right? It's been over three years since these guys released and I still think they have possibly the best animations in the entire game. Like, just based on the active skills alone, I think these might be two of the best animations in the entire game. And it's been three years. I don't think anything's really been able to top it. Beast Gohan comes close, right? Beast Gohan, I said for a little bit that it was the best animation. But now, going back to this, I still think these are better. I still think these are better. And not only... Are they still amazing? They made them even better with the OSTs, right? I mean, they sound amazing. The new OST, OSTs for Vegito and Gogeta sound amazing. So it just made everything so much better. Um, I'm stoked, guys. I, I'm, I'm really, really stoked. Okay, so let me just put my music back on. Uh, there are the active skills for these guys. And now let's get into the actual extreme z awakening details so of course a massive shout out and thank you to the homie goresh for providing us with these translations these videos would not be possible without him because i can't read japanese so it just wouldn't work without goresh so a big shout out once again and thank you to the homie goresh so let's start with the one that i'm personally more excited for not necessarily the better one i think vegeto blue at this point is still better um, I thought that was the case before the Extreme Z Awakening. I think that is still the case uh, with the EZAs, but I love Gogeta. I'm a Gogeta guy, so we got to start with the uh, base slash blue Gogeta. So uh, leader skill is going to be final trump card or fusion, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%. And then his passive before the transformation, so basically as base Gogeta, is attack and defense plus 140%, key plus 4 when attacking, launches an additional attack, 
that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when attacking as the first or second attacker in a turn launches an additional super attack and gains a great chance to evade enemy attacks as the third attacker in a turn defense plus 100 percent when attacking transforms when conditions are met and the 12 key super raises attack raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and the 18 key super is uh, raises attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage so obviously some nice changes here more attack and defense the start um great chance for additional super attack as the first or second attacker and then as the third attacker you have a 70 percent chance to dodge so if you want them to be more defensive or at least more evasive right you want to put them in that third slot i think before it was a high chance which was 50 percent now it's 70 percent great chance i'm pretty sure so uh, yeah, that's nice. And then the 100% defense when attacking is going to help a lot as well. So uh, definitely still not a slot one unit. Okay, uh, it's very clear that in slot one, you can still get in a lot of trouble. But after this guy has had a chance to attack, he should be building a very solid amount of defense. So his ability to survive now is much, much better, right? Defense, a defense was always a concern for these guys. And I don't think it's like fully fixed, obviously, because in slot one once again they're still gonna get wrecked and even in harder events in slot two or slot three i think if they don't dodge they're probably still gonna get wrecked but the third slot dodge is uh very likely right with the 70 percent chance to dodge and then in slot two yeah after you attack maybe you know two or three supers even you build that defense um they should be pretty good defensively pretty decent uh, defensively so that's pre-transformation. Now, post-transformation into Blue Gogeta, the passive is... Let me just um, actually disappear for a second because I'm blocking some of the text. Okay, so post-transformation. Evade enemy attacks for the first turn after transforming. So, essentially, 100% chance to dodge the first turn, right? Um, after you become Blue Gogeta. And then attack and defense plus 150%, key plus 5, launches 2 additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance to become a super attack. And then attacks effective against all types as the first or second attacker in a turn. Key plus 7 launches an additional super attack and gains a great chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks, as the third attacker in a turn. Plus an additional key plus 1, and attack and defense plus 22% up to key plus 5, and attack and defense plus 88% with each attack performed, performs critical hits during the turn where the active skill is activated or when key is 24. 12 key greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And then 18 key greatly raises defense for three turns and causes mega colossal damage. So uh, this passive is very well constructed in my opinion. So uh, for the first turn, you are literally uh, invulnerable right you can't get hit right 100% dodge chance and that gives this guy the opportunity to fully build up his passive or at least build it up to a degree where like you're much safer when taking hits right because um, in theory you could launch uh, four attacks right on that first turn you transform because of the two additional attacks each of which has a 30% chance for a super attack and then you got the hidden potential of course for the additional fourth attack so you could possibly just fully build up this 88% attack and defense on the first time, uh, or on the first turn you transform. And then after that, of course, you don't have the guaranteed dodge anymore, but your passive will be, or your defense will be much better at that point, right? So um, once again, still not a great slot one option, right? If there are attacks before you get a chance to attack, then I would still be concerned. I would still definitely not feel the safest in that situation but in slot two he should be fine i'm not gonna say like a great option once again i don't think i don't think the defense is um fully addressed right the full the defensive issue is fully addressed right i think that they're still gonna struggle uh defensively in the hard events in the game that's for sure but it's much better now and uh, of course, once again, in slot three, you got the great chance to dodge. So if you want them to be more of a defensive unit in that sense, where you're like dodging most of the time, then put them in slot three. Of course, that's not fun because you won't be able to use them as much, but at least there's that option, right? They're more 
Uh, they're pretty versatile in that sense. And uh, offensively, I don't have to say much. I mean, they're going to hit hard, right? Both of these Extremes the Awakenings are going to hit very, very hard. They were already hitting pretty damn hard before the EZAs. Now they're going to hit even harder. They got more attack and defense, uh, more attacks launching, uh, you know, guaranteed crits with a 24 key or the active skill. And um, yeah, this guy's launching up to like four super attacks plus plus the active skill. So in theory, you could launch like five attacks in a turn, right? Which is crazy. And uh, that's going to be a lot of damage. It's going to be a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, so yeah, looking very good. Looking very, very good. I think this Gogeta is... Um, I would go as far to say broken. Yeah, I, I, th I think it's pretty broken. It's just the defense that like does give me a little bit of pause, I guess. I'm a little bit concerned about the defense still. Um, I don't think it's going to be a major issue, but it's not going to be like uh, super amazing either, right? It just depends on like which events you're running. And uh, you will have to still, I think, look out for their defense or like how many attacks you're letting them take in certain events. So... Uh, yeah, that is the blue Gogeta. Let's move on to uh, the uh, blue Vegito, Vegito Blue, or base Vegito into blue Vegito. So, uh, leader skill, final trump card or Pertara, category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 100 or and 70%. And then before the transformation, exact same passive as the Gogeta. You got attack and defense plus 140%, key plus 4 when attacking, launch an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when attacking as the first or second attacker in a turn. Launches an additional attack, or, or sorry, additional super attack, and gains a great chance to evade enemy attacks as the third attacker in a turn. Defense plus 100% when attacking and transforms when conditions are met. 12 key, raises attack, great, uh, sorry, uh, raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. And then 18 key raises attack, greatly raises defense for one turn, and causes mega colossal damage. And then uh, transform passive, or the Vegito blue passive, is evade enemy attacks for the first turn after transforming. Attack and defense plus 150%. Key plus 5 launches an additional super attack and gains a medium chance to launch another super attack as the first or second attacker in a turn. And then key plus 7 launches an additional super attack and gains a great chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks, as the third attacker in a turn. Plus an additional key plus 1, an attack and defense plus 22%, up to key plus 5, an attack and defense plus 88% with each uh, attack performed. And then performs. Okay, so this is actually a typo, which uh, Goresh uh, corrected in a follow up post, but. Basically, this last part, this final part of the passive is uh, launches an additional super attack during the turn where the active skill is activated or when key is 24. So it's not critical hits like the Gogeta. It's actually a another super attack when you have 24 key or when you launch the active skill. So tons of super attacks being launched here. He's going to be attacking a ton just like before the Extremes the Awakening, but now he's hitting even harder. Um and uh, getting more defense as well, right? The uh, 12 key super greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, it causes colossal damage. An 18 key super greatly raises defense for three turns and causes mega colossal damage. So, um, as I said before, you know, a very solid slot two and really good slot three option if you want more defense or more dodging, right? Um, and I mean, the damage is gonna be there. It's just gonna be even more than before. I mean, they were like, I mean, don't get me wrong, they were hitting really hard before the Extremes the Awakening. Now they're hitting even harder, so they're just going to be going off on any enemies you're facing, right? They're going to get in so much damage, so many super attacks, and then on top of that, their defense will, uh, you know, at least keep them alive in most things, right? So, um, yeah, these Extremes the Awakenings honestly have kind of exceeded my expectations. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but this definitely turned out to be even better than I was expecting, I was hoping for it, right? So, I'm more than happy with this. I, I am more than happy with this. I like the fact that you can still, like, you know, uh, pick and choose how you want to play them, whether it's slot 3 with a dodge chance, but less offensive, or if you want more offense, then you go slot 1 
or slot two, most likely slot two, unless there's no attacks before you attack, then slot one is fine too, right? When we say slot one, we mean that um, it's a unit that can take attacks before they attack, right? Before they get the boost from their passive for attacking or from their super attacks. So um, yeah, not great slot one options, but of course slot two should be fine. Slot three, even better defensively. So um, yeah, guys, I mean, to me, this is as good as the part one and part two LRs, the new LR units, right? Because these guys are just, they represent two of my, or rather, they represent one of my favorite moments, one of my favorite times in Dokkan history, in my time as a Dokkan player, and uh, it's just nice to have them back again, man. It's just nice to uh, see them back um, to relevancy, because... Uh, I mean, they're, they're two of the most, like, hype possible characters as well, right? I mean, it's it's, it's literally Blue Gogeta and Vegito Blue, or Gogeta Blue, however you want to call him. I know some people like to say Blue Gogeta, some people like to say Gogeta Blue, or Super, Sa Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan uh, Gogeta, whatever you want to say, right? Whatever you call them, they are two of the most hype, two of the most uh, fan favorite units, characters, of all time so uh i'm just happy that they're finally getting you know their their resurgence i guess or their extremes awakening which is what it is so uh that's all i gotta say guys that is the video uh let me know in the comments what you guys think oh what you guys think about the eza details uh do you guys think they're amazing do you feel like it could have been better are you just kind of whatever on them um let me know let me know your opinions of course in the comments i would love to see them and uh that's it that's all i gotta say guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.